What's up guys, Brian Mayer here, Master Distributor. And if you were on the little training that Danielle and I did the other day, you'll notice it was a Facebook Live. I had horrible reception, it got cut out and I couldn't finish like literally the last five minutes of what I thought was gonna be basically the most important part of my contribution. And um, that was to bring clarity to some words, definitions that I think a lot of you are mistaken on. I know a lot of you are because I've been getting so many questions. And so I have five for you, all right? I have five definitions in five minutes. Let's get right into it. Guys, we've been saying since the beginning that one of the unique things about what we're doing, the, the fact that we're breaking you know, ground and making history, right? Because we're marrying what? Web3 and direct sales. Well, a lot of you have been asking, you know, what is Web3? And, and the best way that I could explain it to you is think about Web1 as the advent of the commercial internet. Think mid-90s, 95, 96, 97, when companies were just starting to put up websites, commercial websites, but they were very static, right? They were very one-dimensional. So you could read about the company, maybe if it was a restaurant, see their menu, um, contact us, would have phone number and you know what I mean? So very static. Now fast forward to what they refer to as the web 2.0. Think social media, think messaging app, think two-way communication with websites, right? Chat with us now, um, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, um, WhatsApp, I mean, the list goes on and on. That's kind of the web two. Web3 simply means blockchain technology, okay? So hopefully that's, Web3 is just the third iteration, the third phase of the internet. Brings us to our second definition I just said. What is blockchain? Well, you may have heard of that, guys, and a lot of people know that NFTs live on the blockchain, but you don't have any idea what that means, right? It's real simple. The blockchain is this. It's a series of blocks. These blocks are computers. They represent Think of it like a server, I guess you could think, like a computer. And there's data stored on there. But then there's a chain. It's connected to this other computer, okay? And then another one and another one. And each one basically shares the same data. So as things are added, it's added to each one, okay? So the data, new data is added, and it's spread all around the world, literally. So it provides something that's very secure, something you can't just go in and delete things and edit them because it would set off the chain. Remember, they're all connected, blockchain. If you tamper with one of them and start changing things, well, the other ones are not gonna verify it. They're gonna know something's wrong. It's a very most dumbed down, you know, simple way to explain it because it could get very complex. But for our purposes, that's really all you need to know. Blockchain, oh, it's a series of computers connected around the world. Great, okay. The other word, which would be our third definition I said was NFT. We have been calling, as many companies are, such as Nike, such as Starbucks, such as Wrangler, I just saw, right? Um, Tiffany's, Danielle likes to talk about that, of course. Uh, these companies, guys, if you consider what they're doing is, the NFTs are what they're rolling out, but they're calling them digital collectibles, okay? We're calling ours a digital badge, which I'll get into in a second, but it's the same thing. They're interchangeable, you understand? So an NFT is a digital collectible, which is also, in our case, a digital badge, okay? Now, all that means is if you buy something, right? Let's look at our, our founders packs. Let's talk about the elite founders packs. $34.95, you get locked in at the pay rank of a diamond for three for five years, getting paid down three levels. Most phenomenal offer we've ever put together. And frankly, another first in the industry, never been done before, okay? Here's the point though. How do we know it's you? How do we know you get those associated benefits? See, if you go back to that slide, and uh, I'll put it below for your reference, it shows the three offerings, the three digital collectibles, right? And each one has bullet points because it tells you as the holder of that, what you get for it. There's a, there's a list. Oh, well, these are the benefits that you're actually getting for that, which brings us to our next definition called utility. See guys, with an NFT, with a digital collectible, the list of benefits is called the utility. All right, that's, that's just the easiest way to put it. But let's get back to the digital badge. So you see there's a badge. I always tell people, it's kind of like, I'm using my phone to record this. Uh, it's kind of like, have you ever flown and downloaded your boarding pass to your phone, right? So it's a, it's a mobile boarding pass. A lot of, most people do that. A lot of people do that now. Well, what happens is when you scan your pass to get on the airplane, to get through security, what does it tell them? It tells them who you are, of course, your, your data, but it also says your level of entry. Are you TSA pre-checked, right? Are you sitting in first class? Are you sitting in business class? Do you have food allergies and need a special meal? It's all gonna be on your boarding pass, right? It's also on your mobile boarding pass. So your boarding pass, a digital boarding pass, lists the benefits, the utility of your digital badge. Guys, that's all we did. So instead of starting like a normal direct sales company saying, okay, we're gonna offer a two pack, four pack, eight pack, which we are, come launch, 
Um, you know, we're all, and of course, just to avoid any confusion, we have two and four packs available now. But my point is, instead of just launching with a product pack, let's build an offer, is what we said. Let's basically construct an offer that if anybody wants to build a business, they basically can't say no to it, right? Getting locked in at a certain pay rank, um, getting X amount of product, X amount of convention tickets, free shipping on your product, uh, you know, on your own personal products, uh, VIP access, all these other things. These are the list of benefits with our digital badges, with our NFTs, okay? Now, we also said one of the benefits of owning one of those is that you're going to be able to be whitelisted for future digital badges, for future NFTs. Well, what, Brian, what's a whitelist? So a whitelist, just consider a registration, right? So not everybody in the world can just log in and buy one. You have to be on a special, like a VIP list. You are whitelisted, okay? It's another term in the industry. The last term that I wrote down to teach you guys would be minting. Danielle said numerous times, I'm sure I've said it, you may hear things as you're reading about different things, when you when they went to mint their NFT. Well, what does that mean? When you mint it is when you stamp it. Picture you bought a house, right? You have your deed, you're a proud homeowner now, you bought this house, it's an investment property, right? Like my background. And you take it down to the courthouse and you record the deed. You're recording it, that you are the legal owner, right? It's a digital boom, you own it. Guys, that's all minting is. So when you mint, you know, early October to get your digital badge, because you're already whitelisted, right? You're going to mint it, and the blockchain is going to know this co computer's all over the world. You're the owner. Oh, and by the way, as being the owner, these are the benefits that you're going to get. This is your utility for your NFT, okay, that you were whitelisted for, that you all are, that you just minted on the blockchain, and that you're now participating in web three. That's it. Guys, I hope that helps. That's the simplest I could break it down, but I hope that makes sense, all right? Let's think about the terms one more time to recap. You have web three, blockchain, NFTs, digital collectibles, whitelist, mint, and I threw utility in there. I threw a six. So six terms. Watch this again. Take notes. Digest it because it's just so easy. Once, you, once it clicks, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's all we're doing, guys. But you are now brought into the future and you can proudly go back to your Thanksgiving dinner, let's say, and tell your entire family and friends, yeah, I own one of those NFTs. Pretty cool. Talk to you guys soon.